Hi, my name is Dr. Shruti Sharma and welcome to my first video in the road to COP29 where we will unpack key concepts shaping the future of our planet. Now today's topic is CBDR or Common but Differentiated Responsibility. Now wondering what that means and why it's such a game changer. Now let's simplify it. So where did CBDR come from? Now combined but differentiated responsibility was first introduced in the Earth Summit in 1992. Yes, the early 1990s back then, scientists warned that climate change was a ticking time bomb and something had to be done. They realized that while climate change is everyone's responsibility, not everyone contributed equally to the problem. Developed countries like the US and EU members contributed nearly 70% of all historical CO2 emissions since the industrial era began. Meanwhile, countries still working to develop like India or Kenya only account for a tiny fraction of those emissions. That's where CBDR comes in. It's about fairness in climate action. Every country is responsible for reducing emissions, but the level of responsibility and how they contribute differs. Under CBDR, wealthier countries take on a larger share because they have more resources and historically emitted the most. They are expected to help fund solution, transfer technology and provide support so everyone can join the climate fight. Now, why does CBDR still matter? Because the climate crisis isn't equal. Some nations are hit harder than others. And CBDR ensures that no country is left to fight alone. CBDR was central in historic agreements like the Kyoto Protocol and the Paris Agreement. But it's still shaping climate policies today. At COP29, CBDR will be key to deciding who pays, who cuts emissions and how technology is shared to help every country hit the climate targets. Now let's look at how CBDR works. Developed countries fund renewable energy projects in developing regions, share clean technology for sustainable growth and support capacity building so local communities can drive their own solutions. As COP29 approaches, we will see CBDR in action as countries negotiate climate financing, emission targets and support for vulnerable nations. It's all about building a global climate partnership that's fair and effective. So here's the takeaway. CBDR ensures that climate action is both just and effective by acknowledging each country's unique situation and historical impact, we can drive meaningful change that benefits everyone. Now that's it for our first episode in the lead up to COP29. Subscribe for more insights on how these talks will shape our planet's future. Together, let's break down the complex world of climate action.